Ellie Munoz, uh, speak of the devil. You guys should get Bobby Lee on the Jim and Sam show to discuss his beef with Brendan Schaub. Very spicy. I don't know if you heard Hot Dog, but I was checking it out right before we went on live. And Brendan and Bobby Lee did a podcast together with Kalila. Uh huh. To mm-hmm. hash it all out, to square it off. I, think I don't it, think it's all hashed out. You don't think it's water under the bridge? No. No, I don't. Man. It sounded like she still very much was on a uh, I don't believe you kind of thing. You're full of shit. These, com- these comedians need to pay attention to radio. It's like they're just repeating this cycle. Like, you don't have to do this. You're on podcasts. Why are you going on podcasts and just talking shit about each other? I understand. I understand that it gets clicks, right? I see all the clicks. I understand that the drama gets clicks. But radio beef was fine because radio people, we're all dorks. We're all nerds that are just hermits that are scared to leave our studios. So you sit there and you talk about how cool you are and how the other radio guy sucks balls, but you never see each other because you never do anything social because there's nothing real to it. You just sit in your studio. You can insult the other radio guy who's actually competing with you because you're actually on this at the same time and people actually have to make a choice. And then you never have to deal with it. It's all fake. It's all phony nonsense. And then I look at these comedian podcasts and they're like shitting on each other. And I'm like, first of all, you're only podcasters as a side gig to your stand-up. You all go to the same clubs. You're from the same cities. You're going to- You're introducing to... each other yeah, on, you're, on stage. You're at the same shows. You're going to see each other. Why are you doing this? What, like, you could talk about anything. You're comedians. You could talk about anything. And podcasts aren't on at the same time. You're not competing. You're not in competition with each other. People can make the choice to listen to whatever show they want to listen to. This show doesn't compete directly with any other show on YouTube. Because while, yes, it's live, you could watch this show at 2 o'clock in the morning. You could watch this show at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. You could, whatever you want. So what team are you on? (laughs) This is crazy. (laughs) And then you're sitting there and you're like, wait a minute. This beef isn't even about like silly show stuff. This is like real life squabbling. And I I mean, and it's like, I guess when you podcast that many hours, you're just going to end up talking shit. Sam, when when you were doing Jocktober, did all the other radio guys call you on a phone at once and just you're like, hey, what the fuck are you doing? No, but I'll tell you right now. I learned my lesson from Jocktober. Because guess what? Anytime anybody that was even close to a Jocktober is anywhere near me, I hide in fear. <laughs> I don't want to deal with the real life consequences of this. Are you kidding me? Thank God Scott Shannon was cool. I don't want to deal with Scott Shannon is not Brendan Shaw. Brendan Shaw will fuck you up. He will fuck you up. <laughs> <laughs> Half these podcast guys will fuck you up. He's a cage fighter. And people want to be like, yeah, well, look at his, his professional record. Yeah, well, guess what? To get the contract to get into a cage, he has to be able to fuck up almost everybody. <laughs> Just to get a UFC contract, you have to be able to fuck up almost everybody on the planet. Oh, except for CM Punk. Yeah, but we don't. We're not trying to bring, drag Phil down with this. What are you? You are you addicted to the podcast beef? You're trying to take shots at people. I love it. We're not trying to like, drag what? Phil. We're not trying to drag Phil here. Phil followed his passion. Phil followed his dreams, and now look at him. He's fucking fighting for the world championship. Yeah, yeah. You know he's gonna kick the shit out of Hangman. What? But yeah, I mean, I'm like. Why are you doing this, guys? <laughs> like, why? And then they go on the tours, you know? And it's like, well, first, Shab on one of his three podcasts had to say this. And he had to talk to this other podcaster. But then the problem was that he was on Flagrant. And while he was on Flagrant, Bobby and Kalila weren't doing their podcast that they do together or the one that Kalila does by herself. But they were on H3 podcast. And they were saying, and it's like, 
You guys talk too much. You talk also, too what much. Is, how did? Uh, what surprised me the most is uh, how did Andrew Schultz get in? Like, is this not even LA because, thing? This is just like a because in case you didn't know, Andrew Schultz is the god of this shit. Okay, <laughs> Andrew Schultz did this. He said, "Oh, you got some clicks to be had, huh? Let me get involved in this. Let me put my face on the thumbnail." And boom, <laughs> flagrant is there. You kidding me? Yeah. Andrew Schultz. Yeah, you think uh, it's like all the podcast Illuminati people got on the phone. Oh, yeah. And they, they concocted this whole thing. No, Andrew Schultz, people don't even know. We're all just following Andrew Schultz's lead. He's setting all this in motion, okay? He's the man. I saw Philip DeFranco. You know, the YouTuber, Philip DeFranco. He's sitting there being like, talking about comedy podcast drama on YouTube on his news channel. I'm like, this is That's so, this is, the whole thing's going to eat itself alive. Mark my words. The entire really? thing is going to eat itself alive. Because while, yes, I'm sure, I would think, that Brendan and Bobby are sitting there going like, it's enough. Like, this is bad. This, is, this has gone past the point of being, like, good for clicks. And this is bad for business now. We can't have sides. Like, Mencia versus Rogan destroyed one of the biggest comedians in America. It's not good. It's not good. Good doesn't come of it. Only evil can come of it at past a certain point. I mean, it's debatable whether that Mencia coming down was not good. See, and now you're taking sides again, you piece of <laughs> shit. You piece of shit. That's debatable. I think some good was to be had off of that. Da -da -da. Okay. That's all I'll say. Doo, doo, doo. Okay. If anything, you should know. Why aren't, why aren't you throwing a uh, face on your <laughs> thumbnail and, <laughs> and and talking about this? Yeah. Yeah. Or, or like, I hey, can't. if your team Bobby hit that smash that like, if your team Brendan throw a super chat, let's make some money off of this, Sam. I, because it's soulless. <laughs> 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 because it's soulless. I love it. And it's life draining and i think bobby not draining and Brent, minds bobby and brendan are like yo we gotta fucking chill with it this is getting crazy right but there are other people right below them that aren't directly affected by it that are like oh shit the whole world is talking about these two and they're gonna start everybody's gonna start suing each other and talking they're gonna be airing out all their personal shit on all their podcasts it's gonna be a fucking mess okay like it remember remember when comedy podcasts was were too inside because it was just over and over again. Talk to me about where you get the inspiration to write a joke. You know, like it was it, every Crap. every element of the business of comedy was already exposed by podcasts. All of it. Like anybody so that goes to a stand up show knows every element of the comedy business now. So once that was done, it was like, what's next? Well, you have to find out every shit talking conversation that's happening at the table now there's nothing left there's I mean, nothing we found out left. bobby and his girl have an open relationship that was supposed to be private apparently <laughs> and, <laughs> hot, and hot dog nose <laughs> yeah, yeah. okay hot dog nose that's when things have gone too far it's not all content okay there's content and then there's real life these th that line is getting blurred and it's going to destroy people. And they're going to sit there and they go, well, I got all this money. What do you got to do with it? Okay. You, you, you used all your friends for content. Now you have nothing left. You have no life left. This life changing and uh, shattering moment has been brought to you by the Dollar Shave Club. Yeah. And by the way, gold dipped roses are here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. I'm sitting there and I'm listening to like Philip DeFranco being like, and Brendan Schaub was flirting with Annie Leader, man. And I'm like, what are we doing? What are Seven we doing? Seven years ago. Yeah. In a part. What? What are we doing? We've gone too far. Okay. Hey, man, they're in the game. I miss when everybody was just mad at Elon Musk. <laughs> oh, you know, what? Last week? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's too much, man. It's too much. But it's certainly, 
I feel good. Because I'm finally at a place where I'm not like looking at that going like, oh man, I got to get some controversy going. I need some of them clip. Nope. I don't need not one of those clicks. Nope. <laughs> no. Well, that's, what, that's what you learned. And that's what they need to learn. You are a veteran. You're, you're, the, you're the OG here. I'm the Tom Brady of this shit before Tom Brady entered this shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was the Tom Brady of broadcasting. Then Tom Brady became a broadcaster. Until, until literally Tom Brady came Fuck. up and said, no, no, I am the I Tom Brady. I'll be the Tom Brady of this. Shit. <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh. It's like a... When Michael Jordan, when some, I'm sure someone called themselves the Michael Jordan of baseball, and then Michael Jordan said, no, I think I will be the Michael Jordan of baseball. Here's what happened. Uh, Tom Brady was like, Sam said that he was the Tom Brady of broadcasting, and I took that personally. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, Mopar, by the way, thank you for the super chat, Ellie Munoz. You really brought us into a rant. Um, Mopar fan, why is Snot Dog a permanent part of this show? Oof. Snot Dog. Ooh, got you good, Snot Dog. got some blackmail on Sam, and he won't want to mm -mm. get that out there. Hot Dog is, uh, well, he's controlling all the anti-Sam information on Reddit right now, so. Yeah, I mean, don't you, don't you dare step out of line. I'm indebted to it. He told, here's what Hot Dog told me. He said, if I don't keep him on Sam Roberts now, He'll tell Joe Rogan to hate me. <laughs> and, Wait till Joe hears about and this I, one. And I can't have, I don't want that. I don't want that in my life right now. Some of these comedians got to have kids or something, man. They got to they gotta get a life outside of the industry. 